What do you know about metal buildings? By the time you finish this video, I guarantee you'll know something new. The metal building industry dates back to 1917, when the Austin Company in Cleveland, Ohio, developed 10 standard designs for metal buildings. They were called pre-engineered buildings, since the designs were created in advance and they were sold as an unmodifiable package. Then in the 1920s and 30s, the oil boom in the West created the need for quick, simple to construct buildings for storage and basic shelters, leading to more metal building projects. By World War II, metal buildings were used for aircraft hangars. But most people identify early metal buildings with the Quonset Hut. Over 150,000 of them were used in the war because they could be constructed quickly and serve many purposes. After the war, building manufacturers began producing metal factory buildings that satisfied the post-war economic boom, and they were actually called boom factories. Today, a metal building system is the most popular low-rise commercial building type in America. While the interiors and exteriors can look completely different based on what an owner needs, basic elements of a metal building system are steel frames, wall girts, roof purlins, cladding, and bracing. Metal building systems rely on computer-aided engineering and drafting technology to create buildings that align with each customer's exact needs. One important attribute is design flexibility. Metal buildings allow large, wide-open spaces for manufacturing, warehouses, showrooms, aircraft housing, and maintenance, and any company that needs lots of options for their interior space. They are also very popular for team practice facilities at colleges and universities, and by pro football, soccer, and baseball teams. Metal buildings go up fast. Once designed, the whole building can be manufactured in as little as two weeks. On a job site, it can be erected much faster than other types of building construction. Also, a metal building's metal roof can last 40 years or more and is totally recyclable. Metal buildings and metal roofs don't get moldy or rust and can handle extreme temperature changes. And standing seam metal roofs are excellent platforms for solar panels. They can be easily attached to standing seams on a metal roof and use non-penetrating clamps. Metal buildings provide energy efficiency and minimize environmental impact. Did you know that steel is the most recycled material on the planet? Not only that, a typical metal building is produced from between 50 and 55% recycled steel. Here are some other interesting facts. Metal buildings generate just 6% in scrap, and job site waste is minimal because the building components are manufactured in a quality controlled factory setting. So all parts come to the site at the exact size needed. Building erection is much faster than other forms of construction. Metal buildings usually go up in two thirds of the time it would take for any other kind of building. And metal building design and construction processes are more efficient, beating other building processes by some 25%. Metal buildings are eligible for the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED points. Metal buildings alone can actually provide up to 24 LEED points of the 40 or more needed for certification. This obviously makes metal a very attractive choice for any environmentally conscious person. Insulated metal panels are another source of energy efficiency. These panels have no gaps, no cavities, no crushed insulation and hidden fasteners provide a sleek look. Textured coatings also add to design creativity. Here's another green tip. Light-colored roofs reduce heat absorption and energy usage, while cool roof coatings improve reflectivity, which helps reduce energy consumption even more. So here's the bottom line. Metal building systems have huge advantages over other forms of construction provide vast design flexibility, and are faster in all stages of a project, from design and fabrication to job site delivery, material staging, and construction. MBMA offers many resources to help you learn more.
Here are just a few of the free materials that MBMA offers. All are available on the MBMA website, mbma.com. I hope you'll keep learning about metal buildings and that you'll depend on MBMA for additional resources and assistance. Be sure to check out our educational and informative video library on YouTube and follow our ongoing research activities through social media venues.